A low-riding SUV or tall hatchback, the diminutive 2023 Hyundai Kona is a vehicle that's both practical and fun to drive, which has made it one of the favorites. The entry-level engine is a 2.0-liter four-cylinder that produces just 147 horsepower, but the optional turbocharged factory produces some spiciness that's better suited to the Kona's agile handling. Like other Hyundai models, the Kona comes with an array of standard features, including driver assistance and infotainment technology, at an affordable price. More than reasonable, actually. Considering that rivals like the Kia Seltos and Volkswagen Taos cost thousands more to start with, the Kona may not have as much passenger or cargo space as some of its larger competitors, but when it comes to driving satisfaction, it's a funky bundle of dashing fun, whether you think it's a car or not. SUVs. The Kona is getting more of standard driver assistance features for 2023, including blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alerts, and Hyundai's safe exit warning system, which watches for approaching cars or bicycles to warn the driver and passengers when exiting the vehicle. The optional tech package for N-Line models has been removed and its contents have been made standard or are no longer available on that trim. For example, the N-Line now gets a larger 10.3-inch sunroof and infotainment as standard, but Harman, Kardon stereo and adaptive cruise control are now exclusive to the top-spec limited trim. Two powertrains are available with the Kona model. The SE and SEL come with a 147 HP four-cylinder and a six-speed automatic transmission. This setup can use a large cup of caffeine. In testing, the all-wheel drive SEL model took 9.2 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. The Limited and N-Line models were powered by a much more powerful 195 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine paired to a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic that did a 60 miles per hour dash in 7.3 seconds in testing. The dual-clutch seven-speed automatic shifts quickly and smoothly once it rolls, but stumbles at low speeds in parking and bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, engaging and hesitantly releasing first gear until the driver offers more throttle input. The Kona delivers nimble handling and surprising fun. This doesn't mean a tough ride over choppy roads. In fact, the suspension offers just the opposite, cushioning bumps and providing passengers with a cabin well insulated from pavement imperfections. The steering is perhaps the Kona's biggest dynamic downfall. It's uncommunicative steering which, while unwieldy, requires frequent corrections when cruising on the highway. Hyundai designers manage the tough task of bringing the charm of Kona's exterior design into the cabin while maintaining comfort and convenience. Quality materials, good ergonomics and a comfortable seat feel grown up and refined but not inferior to the Kona's funkadelic exterior. The steering wheel is wrapped in fine-grained leather with contrast stitching and offers integrated controls for cruise control and audio settings. Those upgrading from a hatchback or compact sedan will find the Kona's cargo space to be very suitable, but buyers downsizing from a larger SUV will likely find it difficult. The Kona narrowly beat the Mazda CX-3 in tests, to see how much carry-on luggage it can hold. The Kona manages to accommodate 14 carry-on luggage, two more than the CX-3 but eight less than the Honda HR-V. Standing atop the Kona's dashboard is a touchscreen infotainment system flanked by simple shortcut keys that allow switching between common menus with ease. Found the system to be intuitive in operation but relaxed in response to input. An 8.0-inch touchscreen is standard, but buyers who want a larger screen can upgrade to a 10.3-inch unit. Driving directions can be projected onto an optional head-up display that flips over from the dashboard and also shows vehicle speed and other information. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities are standard, with wireless connection for those features available as an option.